Hey everybody. Wanted to take a few minutes to go over the week two homework assignments with you. Um, you'll see underneath the week two homework assignments tab that there are three homework items listed. So we're going to go through each of them real quick, make sure that you guys understand what each one is all about, how to complete them, um, and maybe we'll answer some questions before we even get started working on them. So the first item is the week two assignment one, sample narrative essays one through three. You click on that tab, click on go to assignment. It is going to take you to the instructions for the assignment. You will notice that the instructions tell you that there are three sample essays attached to the assignment. So if you scroll down to the attachments area, you are going to see three essays plus this actual homework assignment itself. Uh, in case you would like to print that, but more importantly, those three sample essays that are attached. You've got Fear the Laundry, A Brief and Unpleasant Run-In, and Back at the Ranch. So you'll want to click on each of those essays. You've got to read all three of them. You can read them right on the screen when it comes up, when you click on it, or you can download it to your computer, you can print them, whatever works best for you. But you will want to read all three essays, and then you have five questions to answer about each essay. So you're going to do this in a Word document, and you only need to do one Word document. You can answer the five questions for each essay in the same document. Um, just let me know which essay you're working with for those five questions, and then move on to the next one. So the questions are, what is the topic of the essay? So for each essay, what is the specific focus topic? What is the author's angle in the essay? What did this author do to make their story unique or interesting or different? Number three, what is the author's purpose? What do you think they wanted us to get from it? What do you want us to walk away with? Number four, who is the author's audience for this essay? Who, who do you think they intended this story for? Um, or who might respond to it? Number five, what type of tone and voice does the author use in the essay? So you'll notice uh, that those five questions uh, relate directly to the rhetorical situation. So that's essentially what I'm asking you to do for each essay is consider the rhetorical situation. These responses probably won't be super long, but do make sure that you respond to all five questions for all three essays um, and give a, a thorough, honest response. Um, you'll save it, save that Word document and then upload it to submit it. Um, make sure that you remember that it is due, um, let's see, uh, by Sunday at 11.59 p.m., right? Um, Sunday the 14th, April 14th. If you have any questions, or especially if you have any trouble with the sample essays, please let me know as soon as possible. Uh, going back to the week two homework assignments um, tab, you'll see that the second item listed is the week two discussion. So when you go to that discussion forum, you will see that I'm asking you to still continue working with those three sample narrative essays. Uh, the homework assignment for them asks you to look at the rhetorical situation, but this discussion is asking you to respond a little more personally to them. So the first question I ask you is, what was your favorite thing about each essay, right? Um, what did you personally like about it? It could be the story itself, the plot, the sensory details, the tone, whatever. The second question is, thinking ahead to the narrative essay that you are going to write, what are some things that you might try to incorporate into your essay that you saw in any of these three sample essays? Could it have sparked a topic idea for you? Did you like how the plot was arranged? Did you like the sensory details? Did you like how they used their tone to affect how we um, responded to the essay? Whatever it might be. Um, remember that your first post, your answer to these prompts is due by Thursday at 11.59 p.m. That will help you trigger your attendance for week two. And then your two responses to two of your, your responses to two of your peers is due by Sunday at 11.59 p.m. You'll see that the third item listed under week two homework assignments is the chapter three quiz. So obviously you're gonna need to read chapter three before you attempt this quiz. The quiz is 10 questions long, it's multiple choice. Um, it shouldn't be terribly difficult for you, but you will need to read the chapter before, you know, in order to answer correctly, more than likely. Um, so just make sure you go over chapter three and then attempt the quiz. Um, if you have any problems with any of the homework assignments, please let me know as soon as possible. 
um, any questions, technical difficulties, whatever it might be. Um, I want to make sure that I get your questions answered so that you can complete them and submit them on time. Remember, weekly discussion, your first prompt, Thursday by 11.59 p.m. Everything else is due by Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Um, good luck with all of it.